Hello, and welcome to another episode of In the Woods and Workshop. So, what I have here is a black locust log, a very misshapen black locust log that I'm going to be milling on my Woodland Mills HM130 Max. And I got these logs from a friend. And um, what I love about black locust is that it's um, very rot resistant. So if I have a project where I need to have boards close to the ground or even touching the ground, you can't do much better than black locust outside of going to the store and buying pressure treated wood. What I don't like about black locust is that at least the, the logs that I've dealt with, there has a tendency to be a lot of rot and cavities inside of black locust. As you can see here, there's some rot. And um, I don't know how far down this log it goes. It could just go a little ways. It could go down the entire length. It seems like every time I've cut lo black locust, maybe half a log gives me usable wood and the rest is just full of cavities. Um, I suppose I could use some of it for, um, you know, rustic tabletops where I fill the cavities with epoxy resin, but black locust isn't the prettiest of woods. I mean, I can make it sort of pretty, but it just doesn't compare to like your uh, sugar maple, for example. So yeah, we'll get, uh, we'll get to milling this guy and um, see just what kind of lumber we get out of it. Actually, this first piece looks pretty good. We won't know for sure until I get all the way down into it, but a lot of times when I make my first cut on the black locust, I'm already seeing gaps and cavities and stuff, so. Yeah, this may be a decent log after all. We'll see.
Okay, so the plan for me with this is I'm going to cut, uh, I'm gonna just keep the log where it's at and I'm gonna cut two inches down and see how many uh, two inch thick boards I can get with this. I'm probably gonna end up using this for uh, part of my foundation for my uh, log cabin project uh, that I'm gonna be working on on my uh, property about a half an hour from here. Uh, so that's the intention with this remaining locust that I have. I have this log and I have several more. Um, so yeah, just I'll be able to build a nice uh, foundation with this wood. It's gonna be really close to the ground. So this should be perfect. And so I'm, I'm actually shocked at uh, how good this log looks right now. Obviously I haven't gotten down to the rotted area down here but uh, we'll see once I get some more boards cut out what it starts looking like the further into the log we get. So amazingly, there was no rot on the inside of this log. Uh, a couple of the boards split a little bit on one side uh, due to a natural crack, but there was no rot. I mean, that one piece of rot that I had identified that was out here was just, went in just like an inch or two. And other than that, it was, it's, this is the best piece of locust I have ever cut. And when I looked at the original log, I wasn't too sure. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, so this last board's a little bit thicker than what the other others are, but because I'm gonna be using this for my foundation and my cabin, it doesn't really matter. Um, the thickness doesn't matter. So I'm happy, happy with this, with the turnout. Yes, yeah, so here is what the boards look like. Um, really nice actually for uh, black locust you can see here where a couple of the boards as soon as I got to the very end they split immediately all the way down practically halfway through the board I mean you could kind of tell that that's that would happen just based on the coloring of the board I could tell there was a natural crack or some pressure that had that existed there um, on two of these boards but it's not going to be a huge deal actually three of the boards um, but it's not going to be a big deal because, like I said, these are going to be used kind of like the, the side beams going around that my log cabin is going to be built on. And these are actually going to be sitting on stacked stone. Um, I built my sugar shack in the same manner and I actually used uh, black locusts for that part of the shack as well. So this, this stuff does not have to be perfect. In fact, what I may end up doing is this wood is so wide, it's probably unnecessarily wide. I may just, I may just trim that off, and um, on all the boards, making me even. Then I could use 
use these extra pieces of wood for something. I guarantee I'll find some use for them. Nothing goes to waste here. And if I can't find a project for some of this wood, it ends up becoming fuel for my maple sugaring.